For decades, Jamaican music has produced racks to riches stories unlike anywhere else, from reggae icons like Bob Marley and Peter Tosh to scores of dancehall contemporaries, Jamaican artists have escaped the grips of extreme poverty to find global influence and fame with tirelessly unique styles and sounds. One of the artists who was able to catch Jamaica's attention via social media was Gully Bob. This was after an amateur video of him freestyling went viral. Yeah, you are come to come swing for me thing. Must it has on that panel. Yo, children, yeah, you want to walk off of me. Boom. Every girl want to walk off of me. Boom. Yeah. Every girl say they want peace of me. Boom. And every girl, they might dive after me. Give me the right to open the box. And maybe you say, you know, say, I'm going to want peace of the box. So after this video of Gully Bop went viral, local DJs got very excited about this and I can only assume it's because of the 80s sound that he had. People even started comparing Gully Bop to Vibes Cartel because he was such a lyricist. So his career started right here but also there was turmoil and we're going to be getting into how his career significantly changed from the time he made it to the time he fell off. Boom, boom, six, from 1986. Golly Bob's first official recordings were My God, Them No Bad Like Me and Peace Specialist, and they became hits in their own right. And even skeptics acknowledge his lyrics are as potent as the spectacle of his image and story. Claims record. Boom. My God, I know about like me. I them I wanna do no bad like me. Soon, Bop was getting booked for shows and interviews, including a sit-down interview on the web series on stage with Winford Williams, and this furthered his infamy. In a one gear where your little body sick, that infamy time in chain one fix. Body shelly shelly must you want to rip it? I never see a body in a market. Body I know you my whole in a no basket. Give me your baggy my girl for your sip. Right now me tell them this what this. Book up on a girl from up a jack silk top. Both say you want get the gully man that. Right now me tell you how the gully man at just rub them my belly and scratch my gully back. To music when this video went viral, he had a previous life in dance so under the name Countryman. Gulliver, our very special guest, right now on stage. Gully, bop, 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 bop. Welcome, sir. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. A lot of stories out there about you being homeless and so on. No, sir. You were never homeless. No, if I was homeless, Joe Water and Rain would have killed me. Me that get cold and dead long time. I'm Which talking gully? about the gully like it's a Michael Gordon Gully with some yam. Mm -hmm. Cut a bunch of banana. Okay. Yeah. Dirt it's a country gully. gully. Yeah, the country gully. Okay. Yeah. All right. Before we talk more about, gully. about your phenomenal <laughs> rise to fame, let's go back to Countryman. Yeah. Okay. Um, that was your your original name, right? Yeah. As Countryman, an artist. Yeah. Back when. In 92, 93, 94, 94, 95, 96, straight up back until 214. To 214, that's, that's when you changed it yeah, to yeah. Gully Bop? That's when I make the little freestyle video. Yes. Right there, the name change. So as an artist, as countryman, what mm. did you achieve? <laughs> nothing but I see me recently. Yeah. No achievement, I never achieved nothing. Okay. The music wasn't kind to you then? No, it didn't mean to me. Yes. Because... 
You know, like me never ready for it, Tariq never ready for me. Mm-hmm. But the right time come now. The huge buzz that Gollipop had saw him headlining Jamaica's annual Magnum Sting Clash and this was in December 2014 where we've seen stars like Bounty Killer, Busy Signal, Movado and Vibes Cartel. They battle it out for the lyricists of the year which would earn them bragging rights for that entire year. So people had gathered to see a war on words between Ninja Man and Gollipop but unfortunately Ninja Man was a no-show. Despite Gollibop at the time only having three recorded songs to his credit, his 7 o'clock performance on that Saturday morning it hardly showed any weakness. The paper called Bop the fastest rising artist in the island's history. So in the midst of Gollibop's newfound fame and fortune, he also found love. And this was with a 25-year-old woman by the name of Shauna Chin, who became his manager. Oshana Chin did an interview with The Splash and she was asked what is it that made her interested in Gully Bop. She said that the age of Gully Bop doesn't matter and that she has grown to love him and that she was the one who proposed to him. She says he knows just how to tick her off and then he knows exactly what to do to make her laugh again. So she was also asked how did she hear about Gully Bop and like everybody else she said that she saw a video of him freestyling and she instantly posted it on groupie.net and she saw his potential and so she had to go and find him so after she looked she found him they had some brief conversations and then she realized that he wasn't a madman like how people had labeled now Shana Chin has worked with other artists such as Tommy Lee and Vibes Cartel and people just couldn't understand what is it that interested Shana Chin in gully bop due to the fact that he had no teeth but it hadn't been all a bed of roses for gully bop claims record which is the label that produced most of his songs had severed ties with him saying that he had become very disrespectful but chin his manager she insisted that this was not the end of his career and that he had several projects that were lined up gully bop he released several music videos that did well on social media we have Kill Them With Style and that got 466,000 views on YouTube. We had Life Too Sweet featuring MG and that got over a million views on YouTube. We have Bush Cash Rave featuring Golly Bop and that video got 634,000 views. And we have Golly Bop featuring Shauna Chin Dream and that video got 398,000 views. So he was doing well on social media and his videos were getting a good reception and feedback and he also had performances abroad. He had it in England and he had performances in Canada as well. In just under a couple of months after Gullibop's newfound success, he started to have relationship issues which then overshadowed the music and there was an altercation that occurred between him and Shauna Chin. See me? I mash up the car. See my run off me, I try to kill me. I try to kill me, people. People. Lord Jesus. In my house, we are sure. She have money in my house, in the house. We can lead to bring them in my house. Feel their country. Right behind the door, knock me out with a padlock. Most of the world, I mean, 
And just when we thought that we had enough of Gully Bob's relationship issues, he then started a brand new relationship with a lady by the name of Amari, aka DJ Mona Lisa, and she's another aspiring artist. Nobody knows what he's going through. Think that joke. I treat it so shortly after Amari and Gullibop started a relationship, they appeared on stage and were labeled as the Bops. So Amari, she lives in New York and she invited Gullibop to stay with her and her six children. She also was the one that was responsible for getting his teeth sorted out. But the relationship got bad quickly and Gullibop was facing domestic charges which were later dropped by Amari. All of this played out on social media and soon Gullibop's life was nothing more than a live reality TV show once more. Okay, Amari, you're the instigator of this old tooth job? Yes, because um, the more you fall in love with a person and you're with them, you want you and them to be on the same level. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of guys are um, admire me. And I would like a lot of females to admire him also. You know, oh, so you're, gonna, because you're hatting him up. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you can manage what's coming there? I, I think so, because nobody wants to be with a man that everybody doesn't want. Mm -hmm. At least me, you know. Okay. So how is he received by your kids? Oh, they love him. Mm -hmm. And um, they are more popular at school now. Every, everybody wants to be their friend. I touch me, I say, the last black car gone away. I need black car, buy your ticket and bring your come on, man, come. Go through the black car, do it so bad. Don't touch me now. Me now, black car, play with you now. I tell you, come and box me up all night. Let me see a joke me around me. Black car, do it for me, girl. Black car, do it for me, girl. Hey, hey, man, man, hey. you hurt you, you know. I hurt me so bad. Far to be with my boo only to find out that many women are involved in his life. Amari came to Jamaica to promote her new EP, but along the way, found love. This, however, soon turned into a bitter nightmare. Unbeknown to her, she says, Bop allegedly has multiple baby mothers. Well, I never that had no. The worst, I'm post it on Facebook and people share A woman recently called me, sent me pregnancy pictures, sent me pregnancy tests, told me how she received the money by Western Union, money that was for the promotion of her song. She sent me pictures showing me the dollars that was picked up and given to her to go to the doctor. All these things. But I give me my money when me want it. Since then, Golly Bob's career has been in shambles, but we saw a glimmer of hope in 2020 when he released an official video for his single, Rumors. Several months later in 2021, several videos of Golly Bob appeared online and he wasn't really looking like he was in the best of health. Give me the rum me, and the rum me, and the rum me, and another rum me. Give me the wine, and the wine, and the wine, and another wine. Red stripe, me feel nice. He was rushed to the hospital in November 2021, and this was after a colostomy bag that he was wearing got torn by his dogs. Right now, anybody will worry about me, and I'm a real fan. My real friends now worry about me because they know, say, Gully Bop, now I have no COVID. They know, say, Gully Bop, all right. First, mm -hmm. I this bus, last kit. Okay. You understand? So, we just go by you and pay a little money and, and see me come back to my yard and I land on my yard that bus again. I feel that my dead Gully Bop down dead. I just lie up on my back and then I shed my eye. Hear the remarks you will pass over my head and my own brother said he bop bop for dead. <laughs> nah, brother dead. But my doctor tell me the secret to me. Cause some black out the dance here, my doctor tell me. They say, I know that my doctor did say. This money I highlight people, I kill people about my neck tree. And all my fall. People are complaining of surgery. 
Let me put up my face to the camera and I can't see. How muddy by blood my roof. So you must see some neck trim. So we've reached the end of the video and I can only pray and hope that Gullibop will get the help that he truly needs and I do hope that he can have some more success in music because he is very talented but he'll definitely have to take care of his health first. It's really kind of disappointing to see how a man like this could have given, been given an opportunity like this after 50 years and just totally blew his opportunity within two years so that was really disappointing and i felt that he could have done something better with this opportunity that many do wish and hope for and will never receive anyways i do wish him the best of luck let me know what you guys think about the video and don't forget to like share and subscribe is what i say all right guys take care of yourselves until the next video one love bye